Welcome back. This is Chris from PC Addicts, and this is video number two in a series of some basic domain controller setup, um, Active Directory domain services, yada, yada, yada. So, in our last video, or our first video, which was our last video, we went ahead and set up Active Directory domain services and DNS. Um, configured the network card to be a static IP and etc. And if you wanted to check that out, make sure you uh, check out the last video. And so, now in this video, what I want to do is kind of structure our um, Active Directory organizational units in a way that I've kind of been doing for a long time. So, uh, everybody has their own way of doing things, um, you know, de depending on what kind of environment you're in and what kind of group policies you need to do and whatnot, uh, will determine, help determine exactly what uh, what kind of setup here we're gonna do now typically what I do okay we're gonna go to sorry we're gonna go to star administrative tools active directory users and computers okay now what I like to do is oh we need to go ahead and drill down here so here's our domain cool.local and um, by default like when you join a computer domain you're going to see the computer account end up right in here in the computers OU. It's just the default OU. All these are the, the ones that come standard once you set up your domain. And um, I don't like to keep the users in here, so I'm not going to be creating any users or anything in this OU here. Um, and But the domain controllers will stay here. Okay. Everything else is going to be going into a, a couple custom OUs and what OU is organizational unit basically a folder where you keep all your you can kind of keep all your objects they consider them objects like computers and printers and user accounts um, groups all that stuff so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click on our domain we're gonna do new organizational unit OU okay typically what I like to do is I like to create one called Domain, uh, domain computers and put all my computer accounts in there and then domain users but we're gonna do a little bit differently and we'll see how it works out it may work out good or bad or who knows but we're just gonna create one let's just say let's call this um, uh, dun, 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 dun. let's see how about let's call it uh, cool objects that way it's just kind of whatever. Now I'm going to uncheck this protect container from accidental deletion because that's kind of a pain when you when we're, especially when we're just testing stuff out here. What that'll do is if somebody accidentally right clicks on these and they click delete, it will say, "Oh, you can't delete this. You protected it." And so I'm just going to uncheck that now. All right, so now we have this. Let's go ahead and um I'm trying to refresh see. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to basically start creating our structure here um, I haven't really thought about what kind of environment we're gonna do so I'm gonna pause it for a second and try to think about this all right well let's let's say we're gonna uh, structure this like a, a hospital okay so real basically what we're gonna do is we want to separate users and computers from like the ER department we want them different and in a different OU and different group policies applied to them than or as like I the IT department the IS department so let's create a couple things here let's go new organizational unit and let's just call this and bear with me because I haven't really thought about this and planned this out so it's kind of just as we go let's say um, let's create one for ER untick that and let's create one for hmm, let's create one for I let's do IS and let's create another one for um, oops there we go uh, let's create this one for um, uh, did it, what do we want to call it administration no uh, let's call it um, let's not create one okay so we got we're gonna have a computer in ER and a user account in ER and then for us now one of the first things I like to do is not use the administrator account 
unless we have to. Um, there's some reasoning behind it. Uh, some people argue the fact that it doesn't matter, but just for just because I want to, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and copy this account and create one for me, which first name is Chris Davis, and for the user logon, I'm just gonna do um, for this domain we're gonna do C Davis. Hit next. Go ahead and put in a password. And I'm not, user cannot change password and password never expires. All right, so we're copying it from the administrator account, which is, I'll show you here in a second. This one is, if we go to properties on that account, we'll see where the member of, there it is. It's a member of administrators, member of domain admins, domain users, enterprise admins, group policy creator owners, and schema admins. And I wanted to copy all these settings and everything, so that's why I right clicked on it and copied it. And same thing if you go in here, member of, same exact thing. So then we're gonna dump this account that we just created because I really don't, I don't want to start making this thing have. If we had a thousand users, you know, I don't want everybody in this OU here. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna put me in IS Information Systems, and it's just giving you a little warning about make sure you want to drag it. Blah blah blah. All right, so it's out of here. Yet we're keeping the administrator account in here. So in IS, now we see our account. And let's create a user for ER. This one's just going to be a basic user. So we're just going to right click anywhere here, do um, new user. Let's name this person um, uh, uh, got him. Let's see. Let's go Joe Smith. That's original. J Smith okay so remember that because I'll forget later when we're trying to log in next password we're gonna do is let's do pass one two three it's probably not gonna be strong enough one two three so we'll try it and we're gonna typically when you create a new user you probably want to set leave this here and you're gonna give the new user this password that you're setting up some basic pass one two three type of password um, that way they can go the, go to a computer log in with that password and this setting here is gonna force them to change their password because we don't care to remember their password we're domain admins we can reset their password we can log into their account and do anything we need to at any time so um, some companies are funny they're like oh you gotta make sure you write down their password and we're gonna keep a log it doesn't matter so let's uncheck that um, user cannot change password yeah that's fine password never expires and yeah, we'll just leave it like that so next finish Windows can uh, see because the password does not meet the password policy requirements. So we're gonna have to go back and let's add a so this is pass one two three. We're gonna do exclamation point. Let's try that. Just add an exclamation point in the beginning. Aha, that worked. Alright. So under our cool objects OU, we have ER department, we have IS. Now we can go and we can log into this server with the C Davis account, which I probably will start doing after I log off the next time. And also when I, you know, join computers to a domain, which we're going to do in the next video, uh, I'm going to be using that account just because it's. I'd, I'd rather use this account in case I accidentally put the password up somewhere when st somebody's standing behind me. I can change the password, and typically with the administrator account here. Um, this is sometimes tied to like SQL accounts, um, some other stuff that it just makes it hard to reset the password on the fly. So, all right. So this one was a very basic. Well, you know, let's while we're here, we're only nine minutes into it. Let's go ahead and create a group. Let's say we have a few people here. Let's copy this one. Let's say we have a few domain admins. Okay, copy, and we're gonna do. Um, let's see. Uh, how about Jill Smith, his wife? Oh man, that ain't gonna work. Let's do. How about Sue Smith? That's gonna be Sue Smith. I mean, it would work. I just have to put like her middle initial or something. And next, and this one's gonna be the same thing. Exclamation point. Pass one two three. Exclamation point. Pass one two three. Um, don't care. Don't care. All right, so we have two people in IS. Let's create a group. 
Um, here in in this, let's what I'd like to do is create a new OU and call this oops, cool groups. This is kind of iffy. I mean, you can set this up however you like. You could put the groups under wherever, uh, just whatever. But what I'm going to do is like create software groups and stuff. So when I, I want to add these two people to one group. So let's go ahead and go new group, group name. Let's call this um, uh, let's call this IS group. Make it easy to, to see. Now double click it. We're going to do members. We're going to add these two people to this group. That's going to be C. Davis. And since it's use, it's looking in this domain location here, it's going to find this account when I hit check names. I could even just, let's just do C. Dave. It's going to find it. There it goes. When it's underlined like that, you know that it found the name. You can hit OK. And then we're going to also add Sue. Uh, let's just do Sue and see what happens. It found it, Sue Smith. So okay. So now these two members or two people are members of this IS group, which then we can apply like different software and stuff to groups and all kinds of stuff. So, but for now, that's it. Even if you go in here and you look at the individual person, you can go member of, and you'll see now also IS group. All right. So this is kind of a real basic thing. You can get real granular here, and you should see. So, like uh, some of the places I've worked, um, it gets pretty intense. I mean, with thousands of users and everything where, you know, it, it's pretty complex, but um, it is fairly basic just looking at how it's structured and how to structure it. So this is kind of a real quick getting started. Um, hopefully it helped and uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to join a computer domain.